Well this is the vehicle that brought the new lathe, the Harrison M300. I did intend to get some video of it being unloaded but like a numbnuts I forgot to press the record button on the camera. But anyway this is the guy just uh, packing up and uh, he'll be on his way back, back home soon. Well this is the Myford M300 I've just bought and uh, it came yesterday on the back of a wagon. Um, the only shot I've got is the guy packing up to go home because I forgot to press record on the camera. But anyway it's in the garage now, almost in position and uh, I'll be doing that this morning. This is the old Myford Super 7 been a fabulous little lathe. I'll be sorry to see it go really. The guy's coming tomorrow to pick it up and it's been really good but I've always wanted a gear driven lathe to get away from slipping belts and things but it's been very good. Well the Harrison lathe is three phase and it came with a rotary phase converter as you can see there and I've wired it back to the consumer unit with this armoured cable. It's all connected up at the other end and I've just got to um, sort out the connections at this end and we're ready to do a test run. One of the first jobs is when I get it into position I've got to get it jacked up and levelled. It's on these steel rolls, roller bars at the moment so I can move it about quite easily but uh, I need to make some pads so that I can get it levelled up properly onto the solid concrete floor. Well I've mounted the phase converter on some casters which makes it easy for me to pull it out if I need to get to the back of the lathe at any time. Well all the wiring is complete now, I've just got to tidy up some of the cables. Uh, the face converter is a bit noisy but I can live with that. Uh, I'll just show you it now. Well there it is, all I need to do now is uh, tidy up the cables, get it into position, get it levelled up and then I need to learn how to use it so I um, don't think that will take me long. I've, got, um, I've downloaded uh, the instructions on how to use it uh, off their website. Well, as you can see, I've turned down uh, to flatten off the end of the studs here. There's a little ridge on these bolts and the whole weight of the lathe will be sat on that little ridge. So I'm going to turn them down to a flat surface there. There's four of them to do. Well, that's the four of them finished now. And they've all got uh, flat bottoms there, which will sit square onto the, uh, the plates which are going underneath. The lathe.
Well, there's the four little feet I've just made. And as you can see, coat of primer. I'll probably paint them with black gloss. Let's see how it goes. But they're six milli, I'm um, sorry, eight millimeter thick, right mild seal plate. They should be fine. Well, I've got the lathe in its uh, final position now. And uh, it's all leveled up. I'll show you the levels in a moment. And the little feet are made. The little plates, they've worked fine. And it's sitting uh, quite squarely on those now. Well, it's taken me a full 20 minutes to get this leveled up. I don't know if you can see the bubbles actually. But it's um, perfectly level both ways. Well, this is the original bush that was on the, the machine, and it, um, as you can see, it's a really bad fit. It, it, <coughs> it holds the um, the tool post holder down, but uh, it's a really bad fit. So I've just turned a new one, which is much better. It's a perfect fit, and everything's solid now. Well, this bolt here is the actual carriage lock, <coughs> and to lock the carriage, I need to get a spanner and tighten it up. But I don't like using spanners, so I'm going to make a new bolt uh, with a little lever so that I can just turn it by hand without using tools.
Well I've flattened off the top of the nut now and um, I've polished it. Uh, there's a tiny dimple in the centre but that doesn't really matter because it's it's actually that edge there which uh, I'll be setting the tool height to. Oh, the little dimple doesn't make any, have any effect on it. This is the height gauge I've just made and um, this is the one I made ages ago for the MyFit lathe. It doesn't work on this, this one, this Harrison lathe. And as you can see I copied this from uh, Joe Pye, his idea, and um, it's just got that uh, flat there and that's your, your permanent height. This one is adjustable and at the moment it's a tiny bit high so I'm going to adjust it until it's uh, perfect. Well I've made a few adjustments now and I've actually got this absolutely perfect. I use a razor blade just to make sure there's no lip there. It took three or four adjustments and I've put the dots on, I'm going to centre punch that so I'll use that flat uh, all the time. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is to drill the bottom and put the magnets in the bottom. I'll do that in a moment. But that's working fine. 